You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Oh. I heard about you. Hmm. Something I can't understand why he'd waste his talents. To eat. I'm sure he has his reason. How he had a fine rude. reputation. It's a great loss. Mm -hmm. Cooking, you know? Sir Divish has suffered his own share of woes, but he's a generous man and a good one. We'll take care of you until everything blows over. You risked your life to warn us, and we won't forget it. Oh. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Když do komory a spíš do rána. Taková kaše, pečená kachna. Houska. No, tak já si vezmu. Jo, počkej, tak. Pozdějíc. <laughs> Večer, že jo? No jo. No, Jasně. Jasně, musíš jít na půl. Je, drž ještě chvilku. A horší čas. Up. No tak. Jídlo, jo. Um. Ještě furt jako? Ty bláho? Blá, to je blázené. Všechno nevejde. Ty král. Zicenost 94. A ah, jasně. Jabko. Kolik je jabko? Cože? No. Takže děkuju. To bylo. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I could really do with some sleep. No jo, už jdem, prosím. Chalupě, tak to je tady. Ježíš, uklidni se, jdem tam. Počkej, musím si na ty boty, nebo mě se řeže tam ten borec. Nasadit? Ne. Je zbroj. Tak. Pánáct hodin? Nasycen 89, když jsem se... No to snad není možný.
Today the patrols will be double. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. A fellow by the name of Kunesh owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunesh had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunesh still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzig. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzig himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother, and he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Johnny I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. 
Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to, but... Even though I had the sword we made for Sir Radzig, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed, too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harville punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only... He has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady.
Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. I see. Dány, kde je sakra brána? Teď je tady tma. Píši Kriste, kudy? Tudy? Co to je za bordel? Tak ne, tak sorry. Ježiš, sorry, 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 sorry. Klidu, v klidu, v klidu. Tak, můžete mi někdo vysvětlit, jak to funguje? Jsme si pochodili ze stolku. Aha. Tak to jo. by se mohlo vysvětlit pár věcí. Moment. To bych se... Ta nemůžu? Aha. A běž na hradby kolem brány. Prepare for the worst, but don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. I'm sorry, Chief. No. Hey, you men hey. down there! Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Skalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Skalitz to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Who goes 
sir. Lucifer and all his minions. Who else, Robert? Sir Ansig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more... Favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will, and good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Damn! Klidněte se, ne, všichni. Chápu, že je to Bruce. Pochopitelně. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Are you serious? Dívej, tak to mě se ne, dědek. Hlídku je na hradbách. Hm, 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 hm. Ježíš, já jsem si nevzal boty. Lidi. No, hned vypadá jak voják. Levá, pravá. Levá. A, ah, tady, levá, pravá, levá. Jo, jo, jo. Uhni. Dáš to blbě. No? Aha, pardon. Tak, skupný pozemek.
No, že to vidím mu. Raz, dva, tři. Jedem. Všechno je v pohodě. Vystečí. Čau. God be with you. Ciao. What do you think about the Scalitz folk managing to slip away like that? I can't imagine how they did it. The more I think about it, they was either blessed or Sigismund's mercenary army ain't up to much. When you're on campaign, you keep watch no matter how much it's pissing down. If any of us makes such a cock up, Sir Robard would flay the skin off our back. Co se to? Wandering around like a stray sheep must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Hello, the Kukucena don't look like you. Watch me, the Anastafek don't want to wait for you. But pay attention, the wind is going to be strong. Oh, you see? You're also waiting. You have a stick. Ignore me. Look at me. Look at me. Neignoruj mě. Popřu se tady. Je to. Pohodě. Čekám. Můžu dělat fast peak? Ne, beru zpět. Co tam mám dělat? Nová aktivita? Pekář, neproskoumaný místo, neproskoumaný místo. Tak pre já musím. Zatím. Ruser. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack at Scullis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Vart. The efforts of the king's brother 
to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that the Razzi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robart. Jesus! What the hell? My respects to you. Sir so Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Okay. My respects to you. I need to get out of here. 
And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Look, I have to get out of here to bury my parents. I'd reward anyone who'd help me. A ah, dobře. Že zaplatit. OK. What could a ragamuffin like you give me? Clear off before I give you a whipping. Not any longer. I've vital information for Sir Radzig from Sir Divish's spies. The fate of the Scalet's people depends on it. Sir Robard ordered me to leave immediately, so let me out quickly. A likely story. Better clear off before I lose my temper. Oh, never mind. What are you doing here? Get lost. I'm out of here. You'll have me to register. Fine, I'm fine. Mě určitě krátkou paměť tu. Hey, watch it.
Bože, Bože, co máme těžké. Kedys, že? To znamená, můžu mít... Toho moc jo, ta blbost zas. OK, <laughs> tak tohle bude zábavný. Hodě, on se jenom lehnul. Jesus. Tak ty vole, ten kůň je prostě úplně upej. God be with you. I need to get out of here. Says who? I've never seen you before in my life. And that's odd, seeing as how you're wearing our colors. I'm Sir Robar's messenger. He's sending me to Ujits to find out if Sigismund's army has been giving them trouble. I might believe you if I knew who you were. Who the hell are you? I'm Yannick of Malashoff. I haven't been here long, but if you had your eyes open, you would have noticed me. Now open the fucking gate, or I'll have to go and get Sir Robard, and you wouldn't want that, would you? Oh, all right, all right. Oh. Hey! Open the gate! Uf, 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 uf. <coughs> tak jo. Tak to tady zrovna objevím, když už.
Let's hope. Stop, stop. to a bit of risk. How do you mean? As you can see, I tan hides. I can only buy them from the master huntsman and he never gives me enough. I'd hunt them down myself, only he keeps a close watch on me. And you now... Oh, I don't think the master huntsman would be any happier about me hunting on his preserve. He wouldn't, if he caught you at it. Look here, I'll pay a good price for whatever you bring me. And sometimes I have to fill an order and I need something in particular. In which case... I would pay you extra. And if you help me out a few times, I might be able to teach you something useful. Couldn't you use some hides? I need the hide of a sturdy roebuck. There's a wealthy merchant after one to hang on his wall. <laughs> As if anyone would believe he bagged it himself. to wait for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. It's like they've already gone. Oh. 